Samantala, dumako naman po tayo ngayon sa puntong ito sa pagdinig ng Senate Committee on National Defense and Security at Committee on Peace, Unification and Reconciliation uh, sa, nangyaya, sa nangyari pong krisis sa Zamboanga City noong September 9 ng nakaraang taon. May report po si Teresa Andrada. Teresa? Yes, sir. Sa ngayon ay ongoing pa rin itong pagdinig ng Committee on National Defense and Security sa nakanap sa Zamboanga State noong September 2013. Sa pagdinig, isinalaysay ng AFP at ang lokal na pamahala ng Zamboanga ang serya ng mga pangyayari at aksyong ginawa ng uh, pamahalaan. Ayon sa AFP noong hulo ng mga Hulyo pa lang ay may na-monitorist ng propaganda mula sa hanay ni dating ARM and Governor Lou Muswari at naghanda na nga sila ng mga contingency measures. Naging continuous rin daw ang monitoring ng uh, ESP sa galaw ng grupo ni Muswari. Ayon kay GALG Secretary Marojas, pagkamas may mga propaganda na nang nakakalat ang militar at pulis sa labas sa grupo ni Muswari, ay hindi daw nila pwedeng arrestuin o gawan ng aksyon ang mga ito dahil uh, wala namang paglapag o karahas ng ginagawa na, sa puntong ito. Ayon naman sa ESP, malinaw na ginamit ng grupo ni Muswari ang isyu na pagkakasantabi sa peace talk sa MILF para maisulong ang personal na interest na ito. Sa ngayon, sir, ay nagpapatuloy pa nga ang diskurso ng mga mapabatas at mga opisyal ng AFP. Kani-kanina ay natalakay ni Sen. Antonio Trillanes ang isyu ng pag-exhaust ng lahat ng mga efforts para makipag-negotiate sa grupo ni Muswari. At yan yun ang latest mula dito sa Senado, Trisha. Maraming salamat, Teresa Andrada. Nagpapatuloy pa nga rin po ang pagdinig ng Senado tungkol sa Zamboanga Siege noong September 2013. Ang napapanood niyo po ngayon ay si Mayor Beng Limaco ng Zamboanga City. Siya po ay tinatanong ni Senador Coco Pimentel. Panoorin po natin ito muli. Um, there, uh, so that other mayors who are, who will list, uh, who are yes. listening or will study this uh, hearing we will also know how to do it in, in the future. Your Honor, uh... Following the crisis uh, management manual, as what I've said, with the presence of uh, the number of cabinet secretaries and um, from what uh, the negotiations that I've had with uh, Chairman Noor Miswari, and I'd like to quote what he said, I am not in control of the situation, of my, uh, I, I give my men a free hand. Then I tried to reach out to him, I've tried to spoke it, I've tried uh, reaching out to him to speak on behalf of the release of our hostages, realizing the um, situation and uh, the level of uh, whether it could really be resolved within my level. Therefore, uh, in coordination with the Crisis Management Committee, we elevated the um, situation on which, um, leaving the decision to His Excellency President Aquino on what action to be done regarding the resolution of the crisis, Your Honor. Yeah, when, when, you, when, yeah, when the demands were made that, uh, to you, you realized that it's uh, beyond the powers of the local chief executive, right? It's a full implementation of the final peace agreement. So, okay, yeah, for so that, uh, you know, the local chief executives will know what to do. So, how, how was the referral or the uh, endorsement made, uh, Madam Mayor? Uh, it was made, uh, Your Honor, through... Uh, Address to... Uh, Sangguniang Panglung, uh, through a uh, crisis management resolution number two, um, abiding in the decision of His Excellency. It was through a resolution. You then we to submitted it to the Secretary of uh, uh, the ILG because okay. the local government unit, based on Republic Act um, 97160, authored by um, uh, Senator Pimentel Sr., uh, we elevated it to the DILG Secretary. And doing his work, the DILG secretary already responded to this, Your Honor. Okay, bye. I'll ask the secretary later on what he did. But uh, in your conversation with Nurmiswari, Madam Mayor, you, you, were you convinced that the, the incident in Sambuanga was his uh, handiwork? Well, uh, uh, based on the reports earlier mentioned, the intelligence reports and the response. So from your conversation with, with, with him, were you able to talk to him? Yes, so Your Honor. was he owning up to the, to uh, the, to the in incident? In his words was, I am not in the control of the situation. I give my men a free hand. So it is up to you to decipher, to conclude what he meant by it. If he was playing uh, by the words that he was saying, first, I wash my hands on this. It is up to this body to really... Um, <coughs> Confirm, but was, that was the exact words that he told me. However, I still tried to reach out on behalf of the hostages because I knew that somewhere along the line, um, 
He has recognized Zamboanga City as a residence, as a resi his residence in the city of Zamboanga, and I really wanted to see if he had the power to be in control of the personnel that are doing the siege or conducting the siege in our locality, sir. But at least he mentioned that, that uh, they were his men. So presumably his MNLF men. Yes, uh, one of I, one fact that I could state, Your Honor, is that when I've spoken to he, to Habir Malik first, and I would like to recognize the efforts of the civilian personnel from Sulu, our residents, uh, who supported us in this. Um, Habir Malik, Ustaj Malik, turned over or gave me the number of Chairman Noor Miswari for me to contact. So it means yeah. from that uh, action that he had to refer it to, to, a, superior, an, he, to uh, a superior. Uh, yes, but uh, what was also, I, I found um, ca quite puzzling, Your Honor, was that when I've spoken to the superior and appealed to him, he then again said, he, he said that I give my ma men a free hand. Mm. So it seems that there was quite uh, uh, confusion on that statement that they have given. But the fact is that um, the fact is, he referred to them as my men. Yes, Your Honor. So, yes, uh, so I, I join uh, the call of the chairman, uh, Senator Trillanes, for the MNLF and all stakeholders in the Mindanao peace process to be, you know, to be uh, encouraged to join and to help out in the peace talk. So, I'm asking now, uh, Secretary Deles, you mentioned uh, earlier that the GPH MALF agreement will benefit all stakeholders including the MNLF uh, can you can you explain how uh, so that uh, uh, MNLF uh, members or sympathizers will, re will realize how, how this will benefit them uh, yes your honors gladly um, as, as, as had been stated the Bangsamoro basic law is for the entire Bangsamoro it is not just for the MILF uh, there are uh, once the, the once the new government at yan po ang pagdinig ng Senado sa nangyaring krisis sa Zamboanga City noong nakaraang Setyembre. 